Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy, and this is the Whiskey Blending Challenge. I have reached out to five of my fellow Canadian YouTube reviewers and challenged them to come up with a blended whiskey that we all try completely blind and pick which one we're gonna crown the champion. It includes myself, Rob from Whiskey in the Six, Swami from Malta to Montreal, Trenny and C from Trenny and C, Mark from Whiskey Whistle, and Vito from Cast Strength. Their task is to pick between three and 10 whiskeys, blend them together, submit the samples to all of us. We try them all completely blind and pick which one we're gonna crown the champion. Here is my submission. So the challenge was to blend between three and 10 whiskeys. You could pick any whiskeys you wanted, um, Scotch, American, Canadian, world whiskeys, it didn't matter, they just had to be whiskey. I decided to go with seven different bottles. I wanted to focus my blend on nice Oloroso Sherry because that's what I like. So I started out with Glendronic 18. I poured in some, this is Cavalan, this is the SO9 uh, Oloroso cask, cask strength. Um, then some Abelor Buna, this is batch 59, also cask strength Oloroso. Some Macallan Edition 2, a couple different sherries in this one. Um, so that was kind of the main focus of my blend. I wanted some nice heavy sherry notes, some nice cast strength stuff, some varying ages, um, you know, younger stuff over here, older 18 year old. This is, I think a nine year old, which for Taiwanese whiskey is very, very old. So nice age mixed with youth, um, lower ABV mixed with higher ABV. I think it kind of turned out really nicely. Then I went and I reached for the top shelf and added a little bit of Highland Park 25. Nice complex whiskey, not necessarily a sherry bomb, but very complex flavors. It uses the sherry really, really well. Um, so add some nice older notes in there too. Bumps up the age of the overall blend for sure. And then obviously I had to finish off with a little bit of peat, a little bit of smoke. Um, I went with the Talisker 18 because I wanted some older, some older peaty notes in there. And then of course, um, one of my favorites, the Octomore 9.3 to get some more like younger, vibrant, uh, more like in your face kind of peaty notes. Lots of complexity in these whiskeys. Um, and I think they all kind of meshed really, really well. So here's my blend, um, just used an old bottle. Here it is, here it is in my glass. I'll just go through a quick little tasting note, um, just to give you an idea of what I'm getting off of it. So on the nose right away, you're getting sherry. You're getting like heavy, heavy sherry. Really nice like, wood notes to this as well. You get jams and fruits, berries, a little bit of like mustiness there. You get that musty kind of sherry, really nice. And then on the palate, nice, heavy, heavy sherry arrival. And then the finish, this is where this whiskey completely shines. You go through all those like nice sherry notes, the berries, the jams, a little bit of dark fruit, chocolate, and then the peat hits you and it just takes you on a complete roller coaster. You go with three, a uh, full 360 from sherry to peat and you get these nice, long, awesome, awesome peat notes on the, on the finish here. It just lasts a really long time. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Um, Hopefully the other guys uh, like it as well. So the next video you'll see is doing my blind tasting. Uh, look out on everyone else's channels for their videos as well and their blind tastings. And at the very end, we'll all get together on a live stream and discuss the winner. Until then, cheers.